I practice criminal, regulatory, and uh, constitutional law at a law firm called Stockwoods in, in Toronto. Um, the criminal law practice rain, runs the gamut from uh, um, violent offenses to national security matters and increasingly uh, fraud and so-called uh, white-collar crime. Um, I also do a range of regulatory uh, and um, some non-criminal constitutional law matters. I suppose the um, common denominator in my practice is that it's typically um, the state uh, or the government that is my, uh, my client's adversary. I, I came to the practice of criminal law through a circuitous route. Um, I knew coming out of law school that uh, I wanted to be an advocate, that I wanted to litigate, but I hadn't yet settled on a specific subject area. So I started out working at a, a law firm in New York doing a range of litigation matters, uh, but I also had the good fortune of working on a number of pro bono criminal law files, and that really stirred my passions. And one day I came to the realization, you know, wouldn't it be great if I could do this full time, if I could do what I love full time? So when my wife and I decided to move back to Toronto, I decided to go all in on criminal law and now I couldn't see myself doing anything else. I think the most underrated skill in our profession is the ability to listen. Clients want advice that is tailored to their unique needs and their unique problems. And the only way uh, to know how to give that advice is to understand their unique needs and, and predicament. And the only way to do that is, uh, is to listen and to listen carefully. Also, empathy. Um, because no matter how stressful the practice of law is for you, it is 10,000 times more stressful for your client. So being able to recognize that and being able to convey that you understand that I think is really important in fostering that strong client relationship. I'd like to think I bring good judgment to my practice. All client problems are unique and all cases bring a different skill set to bear. And I'd like to think that I am adept at knowing when to bring the sledgehammer and when to bring the scalpel. Um, I also think I, I, I bring to bear a, a strong work ethic. Uh, although sound legal judgment is important in each and every case, oftentimes, particularly in, in when, you're, when a matter goes to trial, um, the difference between a winning defense and a losing one is how many hours you're putting in and your willingness to outwork the other side. And beyond that, I, I think I bring a passion uh, for doing hard cases. I think that I am at my best when I'm working hard for the underdog, and quite frankly, that's also when I think I'm having the most fun. Some of the most meaningful work uh, that I've done in my career have been the pro bono uh, matters. I think as lawyers, uh, we should always bear in mind that it is often the poor and the marginalized who have the pro most pressing legal needs. And although we all um, work in businesses, um, we ought never to forget that uh, um, we, aren't, we aren't merely providers of legal services. We are advocates, we are barristers, and that ought to mean something. And if it means anything, it means dedication to pro bono, not just when it is convenient, but all the time. Uh, I can't think of anything uh, more satisfying um, you know, I've had the privilege of, of representing uh, people who have been wrongfully convicted and who were eventually exonerated. And I can't think of anything more satisfying uh, than having played a small role in helping an innocent person get their life back.